Tacrolimus, the generic name, is the cornerstone anti-rejection drug for patients after transplant, providing the most protection from transplant rejection. Patients will take this medication most commonly in the form of long-acting, 24 hours duration, or short-acting, 12 hours duration, as part of their immunosuppression regimen. While it does its job very well, it's a double-edged sword that we must closely monitor. What does that mean? It can be toxic to the kidneys, causing neurological symptoms, make blood sugar difficult to control, and cause abnormalities with minerals and acids in the bloodstream. As you can see, it's a balancing act to make sure that there is enough tacrolimus to prevent rejection, but not so much to cause problems. For this reason, we must monitor the level of tacrolimus in the bloodstream regularly and adjust each patient's dose accordingly. When your transplant provider checks your tacrolimus level, they are looking for a trough level. What's a trough level? Think about a wave with peaks and valleys. The amount of tacrolimus in the bloodstream follows this pattern. When you take tacrolimus, your body absorbs the medication, causing the amount in your bloodstream to rise. Throughout the day, the tacrolimus is broken down and used by your body, causing the amount in your bloodstream to decrease. As such, the level peaks shortly after taking your medication, then hits a low point, which we call a trough level, before your next dose is due. Your provider uses this trough level to decide if you need to increase, decrease, or continue with the same dose of tacrolimus. This is why it is important to take your tacrolimus dose at the same time every day and to have labs drawn just before your next dose is due. If the labs are drawn too early or too late, it's not a true trough and your provider cannot accurately determine how much tacrolimus you need. Let's give some examples. Johnny takes his long-acting tacrolimus every 24 hours at 8 a.m. every morning. He remembered to wait to take his long-acting tacrolimus until after labs, but he does not arrive at the lab until 11 a.m. for his lab draw. His tacrolimus level will be 27 hours after his last long-acting tacrolimus dose. This means it will not be a true trough and the level will likely seem lower than it actually is. Susie does the opposite. She takes her short-acting tacrolimus every 12 hours at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m., but arrives at the lab for blood draw at 8 a.m. before work. This tacrolimus level will be 9 hours since she last took her short-acting tacrolimus dose. Her level will not be a true trough either, and it will likely seem higher in the bloodstream than it actually is. So, does it matter what time you take your tacrolimus? No, you can decide to take your tacrolimus at whatever time works best for you. What matters is that you take it at the same time every day and have your level checked just before your next dose is due. Finally, for the long-acting tacrolimus, make sure to take it on an empty stomach one hour before or two hours after meals. Thanks for listening. Talk soon.